Looking for a lace front topper, maybe a little longer so you can have fun doing some updos with it this summer? You're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Welcome to a topper chat. <music> hair that we're going to be looking at this week. I've got a couple toppers to share with you and a wig, but today we're going to start it off with this gorgeous topper from Uniwigs. They were kind enough to send me this, and they were even kind enough to make it in the color that I absolutely adore in their line, and that is Almond Frost. Let's take a look at this gorgeous topper together. I've only put it on briefly when I very first got it, and, um, and then took it off. I wanted to share this with you. Most of this will probably be in my bathroom. We're gonna film a lot of this in there once we take a look at it uh, because I think we're gonna wanna play with it. I wanna see if I can do some fun little updos with it. Simple things that everybody can do. I've been so curious about trying that with toppers. For the most part, I'm gonna be experimenting today uh, because I feel like it should be okay. My hair's not that long. But I think if we kind of disguise our own hair with these longer toppers, we can get away with it because I certainly am not going to be growing out my bio hair to the lengths of these larger, I mean longer toppers. So let's take a look at this. This is a lace front and Uniwigs sends you the lace not trimmed. So you can trim this yourself uh, and it's very, very simple to do. You just have to make sure you have nice sharp scissors and... Uh, and really, you know, trim it as close to where the hair is growing out as you like. And uh, it's very simple to do. Don't feel, you know, intimidated by that at all because it isn't, you don't need to pin it on anything. You just really, I just kind of make sure that I have all the hair pulled back and then I hold it and trim it at the same time. Uh, and, and it's very, very simple. So, so don't be afraid of that. So that has not been done yet look at the beautiful waves in this one this is the hope topper um, and so it comes down and it does the these really trendy beautiful wavy curls here uh, toward the bottom very flattering and extremely on trend right now this color is beautiful i had this color in my very first carry wig um, I'll put the link to that down below because it'll give you some outside pics as well of this color, same exact color here. And Cooper is going to bark. Today is not, not a sunny day at all outside. It's quite humid though. Oh, I shouldn't say that to those of you back east. It really probably isn't humid. To me it is though. Anyway, not a great day to bring this outside. Um, so check out that, that other video. That'll give you a really nice idea of what this looks out in the sunshine. Uh, it's really my favorite color I, in the Uniwigs line. It's it's very, very pretty, and it sure shows up nice uh, with these gorgeous curls as well. Just so pretty. So let's take a look at what this looks like. This has a ton of coverage, you guys. So here's the thing with toppers that you have to be careful of and be mindful when you're searching is decide how much coverage that you prefer the 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 main way that you want to do that is by quite honestly measuring where your hair is thin and then add like at least an inch all the way around so you have nice healthy hair to clip it to and then you've got all that coverage where you really need it if you're like me i want all the coverage i can get regardless of what kind of coverage i technically need um, because, well, to be honest, I'm quite fine and thin um, all in this whole crown area. I don't have all over hair loss. I don't have alopecia where I have, you know, a large, large patches or, you know, missing or anything, but it's very, very, very fine. And, I, and so I want something that has a good amount of coverage. The thing is, though, is some toppers, they look great in the front but the back is very, very sparse. And even if you've made a great match, you still have to be pretty careful of that. And you have to make sure that you don't need a lot of coverage back there. But I really think on average, most of us that are wearing toppers do need that back there. So that is something you do not have to worry about with this Hope Topper, you guys. It has 
plenty of extra wefts as you can see and it's going to give you as beautiful of coverage in the back as it gives you in the front so you're not going to just look good from the front uh, look at all these extra wefts you get this is this is a gorgeous uh, amount that they give you here and uh, they have plenty of clips here they have clips on each side of this lace front and then so we have one two three four five clips all the way around and if for some reason you prefer your clips a little somewhere else they give you the extra clips if one of the clips something happens I don't know what that would be but you have those extra clips that you can use as well we have a, a small little kind of mono top going on here so you certainly can part it anywhere in that arena to get a a natural looking scalp look within your part and of course this lace front hasn't been trimmed yet but we have this this nice lace front that is going to give us what we hope is going to give us a nice um, natural front hairline there now if you have watched any of my um, topper chats thus far you will know that I'm not a big fan of lace fronts with my toppers and there's a couple reasons for that for me personally I like to work in a little bit of my own hair in the front like I have for instance with this topper here um, and I just feel like it, it gives me a really realistic nice look um, the other reason why I don't prefer lace fronts is because I love having a clip right here in the center um, I don't clip it right in the very front I can clip it back just a little bit and it gives me a really nice flat kind of secured look and feel and when you have the lace fronts you can't sew a clip right here in the in the front because you're gonna see that clip so you have to rely on these side clips here to keep that to the plane of your head and keep it there securely well right here on the sides I am so sparse it, it's almost it, it's just impossible sometimes for those clips to really do me any good and if I do get a little hair in there it's uncomfortable and I don't want to risk um, causing any friction or pain or inflammation and, and have more hair loss there so um, I really need to rely on the it stays adhesive even for just the lace front toppers I'm going to secure my lace front if I'm going to utilize that lace front with the it stays now what I do with for instance my Beltress lace front topper is I have I fold it in and I still put it back a little ways uh, so I can work in my own hair there's no bangs in that one either and I can easily do that I'll probably utilize this in the same way but in the beginning I want you to see what this lace front looks like because the great thing about lace front toppers is if you really don't have a lot of hair in the front at all and you really couldn't work in your own hair that's where the lace front topper uh, toppers are fabulous and you will enjoy utilizing the lace front as it's supposed to be used so um, here it is in its glory I wanted to start off this uh, little topper chap here in this recording area because you're going to get the most realistic um, look for the lighting here when I take this in the bathroom my walls are kind of a, a yellow and it, is, it skews our perception of lighting a, a, quite a bit so for the most part anyway so before I go in there I really wanted to show you this in this light I'm going to put this on now so let me take off this I'll be doing a little chat on this one here this is a new to me topper so keep a lookout for for that I'm not going to put the information of this quite yet uh, down in the comment box because I want it to be a fun surprise maybe many of you will figure it out <laughs> but uh, anywho so let's put this one away over here and um, get this on so again this this is going to need to be trimmed but I'm going to put this on for now without trimming it and then I will trim it because I'm going to want to see what it looks like uh, with it all trimmed as well I really recommend getting a, a couple styles of toppers 
And the reason being is because um, the clips will be slightly in different areas and you can change it up. And I think that's important that you don't re, you know, kind of reapply the clips every single day in the same exact place. I have a couple few different styles that I wear and the clips are just in slightly different places. And even I purposely will change the topper itself a little bit <laughs> and, you know, just to kind of move those, those clips around a little. It's a little more dense right here, you know, in this little mono area mono monofilament area then i prefer i like i like a less dense kind of very almost sparse look here so i can see my own scalp and to me that gives a, a super realistic look so that can be remedied you can you can tweeze a little bit in there and really kind of make it work for you man i love this color though i really love this color let me kind of scoot back. Really pretty. Um, it was Andrew um, who suggested this color for me because he knew I liked it so much in my carry. And I think he kind of took in consideration what my own color is in my own hair. Um, It's really, it's really pretty, isn't it? This re, this reminds me of Carrie, really, except for you have these gorgeous um, curls. I think it would really benefit if we had a little spray bottle with some fabric softener diluted in water to tame some of these frizzies that we're getting. I think that would remedy that situation really easily because I am getting a lot of uh, frizziness going on here kind of read out of the box kind of thing. Um, I think we should kind of get a close up here of this lace front. And then I'm gonna trim it so we can really see. And you know, they, they really do give you this lace front all the way really kind of temple to temple, which is really nice. I, have, I can see my own hair under there, so this is probably not adjusted perfectly. But do you see how far down this lace goes? That's really, really, really nice. Really nice that they did that. Again, I would, um, here it is on the other side. I would definitely use some It Stays. I, I just love that sense of security knowing this baby's not going to move around. It's not going to buckle or anything. So I would do that. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to take this off, trim the lace, and when you see me next, I'm going to be in my bathroom. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this one. So I've, I've trimmed off my lace here. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but there we go. So now, now we are ready to, to put this baby on. Let me just trim this little edge right there. I feel like that's probably going to itch me if I don't do that. Let me... And then I'm going to use my, my It Stays. I always turn it upside down and roll it to get that ball rolling because it kind of sticks to itself. And I roll it in all different directions on my hand just to get it going and it's unstuck, which it is. And then I am simply going to apply this from my hair back and I only need it about this far down on the topper I don't need to really go down much further I go back about an inch or so then before I grab the hair I always rinse off it's the one thing that's fabulous about the it stays is it is water soluble so it's super easy to take off when you take off your wig or your topper or whatever. So now what I'm gonna do, flip this back, and I am going to see where I want this baby. I'm gonna move hair out of the way. That needs moving. It's already securing nicely. These these clips here on the side are not doing much for me because I'm I, I don't, as a matter of fact, I need to loosen this one. I don't have really any hair there, to be honest, hardly. 
if it is it's maybe fine I'm going to go right to the back and I'm going to secure this first and then I will just make sure that I have secured my it stays where I want it and goodness so now I'm going to do like I would with my wigs and I'm just going to hold this for 10 seconds and then press it down hold it getting my fingers under the fibers holding it pressing it down and then I'm going to give it just a little bit to set up and to be secure and now we can have some fun I don't have any fabric softener right now in a um, spray bottle that's diluted so I'm just going to use this this HD detangler spray just to give this a little more control over these um, fibers that are frizzing on me and getting in my face and driving me a little bonkers so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on everywhere and it'll do essentially the same thing you could even use plain water I just don't have anything already in a bottle I can see right off the bat that although I can see a little bit of that monofilament there I would really want to tweeze a little bit more of that out once I I did a little middle part here which technically is not my favorite my favorite thing to do but um, I'm gonna see what it looks like on the opposite side that I usually part it on but regardless of kind of where I decided that I wanted to part this I would really want to um, tweeze it um, tweeze a little bit more out of there and maybe even tweeze just a little bit here along the hairline and experiment with that to give a little bit more realistic density there so you can see you know a little bit of your scalp there as well um, my goodness though really pretty I noticed that they really do a little bit of the lighter color in here around the the front of the face you know the the hairline and I think that's always so so pretty really really pretty to do that okay just to give you an idea of the length of this It's really pretty. Holy Toledo, this is gorgeous. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. If I need to put my camera down a little bit, so you can see the, the length of this. It's very, very long, but oh my gosh, these curls, they did perfection, I think. I think they really knocked it out of the park with this formation of these curls. So I'm actually going to attempt this now um, utilizing my own hair in the front. So when you work in the front of your own hair into your toppers, it's really essential that 
you make sure you line up that parting with the topper itself because um, that is going to give it away if you have your own hair sticking out and the rest of the topper is just not doing anything that coincides with that placement. So that's really important, which is probably another reason why I would want to tweeze out a little bit more, you know, of the actual topper's hair. So I get that same kind of density that I have with my own bio hair part. That would have to happen. But in the meantime, I could do some fill in powder and fill in my own hair right there. I'd have to probably do some fill in powder a little more here in the front. But that's, it's so opposite. I love lace front wigs, but I prefer non lace front toppers. I tuck that side in a little bit and have a really nice sleek look. Let all these curls just kind of do their thing. I definitely am enamored by these curls. My lord, do you know how long it would take us if we had to do this ourselves? <laughs> from scratch. That's really, really pretty. Very, um, very pretty. Let's see what it looks like with a little bit of a headband in it, shall we? I'm just going to sneak one in right here. I think I'll just sneak one in right here. Kind of more front than we would normally. I really don't think anybody, you know, would, would guess that this beautiful, gorgeous hair was not my own. Um, you know, other than the fact that my own hair isn't this long. But if it was this long, I would totally, I think, get away with it. And to be honest, there's so, so much, um, so much hair here that I'm not even sure it would matter if my hair isn't this length. Look at the coverage. Look at that. Honestly, I really think that for the most part, um, people would 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 pretty much get fooled because even though my own hair is creeping around here, you know, and it's right there, I, I really think that it. I, I don't think people would notice really um, that much, especially if I curled my hair. If I curled my own bio hair you know, and I put some curl in this, then I think it would be virtually undetectable. And it would probably even kind of work in a little bit in the back if some of it were to come through. But to be honest, the coverage in this, because this is where the cap stops, right there, that's how far down this cap goes. So you're getting incredible coverage with this. And um, it's just a lot of fun. I don't know. I, I think I've, yeah, we, we, it's so great. This faux hair thing is so great because we've all wanted hair like this, haven't we? You know, and now all we have to do is stick that baby on and, and we're good to go. I did a little messy ponytail back here. I'm just going to show you. And I actually clipped a clip under here to hold the ponytail up a little bit because there's so much hair that it was just kind of falling and I wanted a little bit more of a, a body going on there. I actually probably could do a couple of these just to kind of hold it up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my own hair here and I'm going to backcomb it. My own, this is my own hair and I'm going to do that. I do a little bump here. So I'm going to spray it there. Smooth it. 
spray it. And it would be cute actually if I put a little clip here, I think. So I'm going to put a little clip in. This did not take me very long at all, you guys, to do. I can just let the front of my hair just kind of do its own thing, spray my own hair a little bit. And if this started coming out, you could you can spray this. I could even um, pin a little. This is all about being messy, honestly. It's okay if you had to pin and put a little something something back there to keep that uh, doing its thing. And then you have this really cute kind of messy little quick updo. And you can even take this one step further and you could take you could take a, a piece of hair here and and actually wind it around the ponytail and then secure it here at the bottom and then you have a little hair wrapped Then I'm going to take another clip here, and because I really kind of want to push it up. So, you know what? I'm going to take the very top and set it aside, kind of up here. Can you see that? What I've done? And then I'm going to take this and clip it right to the crown of my head. And then I'm going to let that fall over the clip. And uh, that is, I think, the fun, you guys, about these um, longer toppers is that you can, you can mess with them a little bit and it doesn't take much time, really. And I feel like the messier, the better. Um, and you can do, you know, fun, fun little things like this. Really, really fast, really easy. It's off the neck. It feels light. And I would totally go out like this and feel like it's gonna stay okay. And I would probably use a combination maybe if you felt like you needed more security of a hairspray suitable for the synthetic wigs and then where your hair is, you could use your own favorite hairspray. But I think that's it guys. I'm gonna wrap this up with this and say that this is a gorgeous topper. It's spot on budget. I mean, it's not super expensive. It comes in both straight and this beautiful curl. <laughs> I really like this curl. Really, I, I think if I wore this out, and I, I think I will, um, I would do a little fun little thing like this, and I think that's probably how I, I personally would utilize this particular topper for myself. I will have all the specs down below in the description box if you're interested. Also, you guys, if I am given a discount code or anything like that, it'll also be down in the comment box. So thank you Uniwigs for sending me this. I'm gonna have a blast with it. I adore this color and I couldn't be more thrilled. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun and um, I will see you real soon. Keep a lookout for a couple other topper reviews and a wig one as well. See you soon.
Thank you.